I just really started to lose myself in promiscuity. Mm -hmm. Then after the loss of my dad, that grief triggered even more promiscuity, any sin-sized piece to fill that hole in my heart. And, um, you know, I was still kind of waving this proud banner of virgin because I was supposed to be a virgin, right, as a, as a church girl. But um, I was just really wrestling with a lot in the darkness and in a really broken place. Even I uh, struggled with adultery, involved with uh, a married man unknowingly in college, mm. still waving this banner of virginity, but um, just really missing it, missing the full understanding of it and um, just in a very dark place. Um, but God encountered me so incredibly. And when he did that, he didn't just, um, you know, change one little element of my life here or there. He completely um, brought me from death to life. He opened my eyes to the truth of who he was and the truth of what he called from me for my life. And it was in that place that I encountered um, the truth of who Jesus really was in light of my sexual sin. Mm. Um, and it, was, it, was, it, it, it completely shifted my perspective. I came to know the God who used Rahab the prostitute in the lineage of Jesus Christ. I came to know the Jesus who sat with the whore, by all accounts, the Samaritan woman at the well. Um, in the face of all of her sexual filth, he didn't run, he stayed. And he offered her living water that she would never thirst again. Mm -hmm. I came to know the Jesus who stood with the adulteress and didn't cast a stone, but said in response to my great love and mercy, live different, go and sin no more. And when I encountered that Jesus, it, it, it just transformed my heart completely.